All right, everybody. We're at the uh, Cumberland Bunker. This is my buddy Scarlett. She likes to go for rides in the golf cart. It's the last really pretty nice day before the heat arrives. I'm gonna continue my series on Let's Not Be Chumps. And boy, have we got some things to talk about. Let's start with uh, Title IX and uh, women in sports. The Biden administration recently uh, submitted a new rule that changed the definition of sex to identity, which means that born males, males that have reached puberty can uh, compete with women. And there's nothing that the NCAA or anybody else can do about it. This is absolutely absurd. Let's not be chumps. If you don't know the story of Riley Gaines, she was a swimmer in Kentucky. And of course, this uh, is related to the whole Leah Thomas thing. That guy as a junior was ranked in the 500s as a male swimmer. Then he identifies as a female the women are forced to let him compete with them, and suddenly he, he, he's breaking records, seriously, and they have to change with him in the locker room. He's still got all his male parts. I mean, come on, women, don't be chumps. Speak up. Do something about this. Title IX gave you equal access to athletics. It's been very successful, and now... What do you think is going to happen? You know, think about basketball, for example. You could have a mediocre male basketball player, and he's going to identify as a female and compete on a women's team and be able to dunk and be physically much more uh, capable than most women. You know, imagine a uh, six foot five male who otherwise would be a mediocre basketball player dominating women's basketball. And of course, every team is then going to uh, have to do the same to compete. It's absolutely absurd. It makes no sense. Completely insane. And they're making all of us out to be chumps. Let's not be chumps. So bottom line, women, you've got to speak up. You've got to protect women's sports. You've got to protect fairness. Think about these young girls and women athletes who work just as hard as the men do to compete. And then a man's going to take their spot on a team or a man is going to take their spot at the podium because they identify as female. Come on, let's not be chumps. So while we're talking about chumps, Many, many times during the COVID pandemic, things would come out that I would think, come on, we can't be the only one that feels like we're being played for chunks. The six foot distancing always seemed a little odd to me. The masking always seemed a little odd to me, especially cloth masks. And yet, Dr. Fauci and the officials all said, I'm the science, follow the science, the science, the science. And yet somehow we go to a restaurant, wear the mask, sit down, and then we can take it off. Does that make any sense? That didn't make sense at the time. So now we find out that, of course, the six-foot distancing was just made up. There were no studies. There was no science behind it. It seemed like the thing to do. There's study after study after study that shows that these cloth masks did no good whatsoever. And of course, the common sense indicated that by the way the rules were set. So now we have this dangerous situation where because we were made out to be chumps and so many followed along, what are we gonna do the next time there's a real serious pandemic or something similar to that? Is everybody gonna believe the uh, health scientists, the doctors, the, the folks that claim, okay, this time we really mean it. That's what's dangerous about this. I get that they weren't sure exactly what to do and felt the need that they needed to do something, but come on. 
you know, tell us we're not sure about this. But they were emphatic, absolutely emphatic, especially about the social distancing and the, and the mask. And now, when you press them, where was the science? You kept talking about the science. And by the way, science is not, is very rarely exact, right? You have a notion, a, a theory, you test that theory, it should be able to be proven in blind studies and so forth and so on. And oftentimes the theory is proven wrong or tweaked and then you do it again and you do it again. There's a lot of things that are not settled science. So this notion that once the scientists say that this is settled science does not make it science. That's not the way that works. Final thing to talk about, let's not be chumps. You know, in the 2020 election, that cycle, when the uh, Hunter Biden laptop story came out. And everybody said uh, it was Russian disinformation and social media blocked the New York Post story about it. And Biden, in the uh, debate, one of the debates, uh, referenced this letter that he had signed on to by ex-members of the CIA and the FBI, and they all said it was Russian disinformation. And, of course, now we know that it was real. And, of course, everything in it that was reported was real. All of that was real. That's pretty relevant information, I think. You know, there's a lot of information in there that clearly indicates that Hunter was using his dad for financial gain. Now, now whether or not that was all being funneled to Joe Biden or not, that's not proven yet. Although, you don't kind of have to be a chump to think that Hunter Biden's getting these million dollar contracts and his money flowing from Ukraine and China, grifting on his dad's name and access that there wasn't something going on there. But let's set that aside for a future chump thing. But where is the pushback now that we know that laptop was real on all of these people that got that letter. Our current Secretary of State, Blinken, he was the one that put that letter together and got all those signatures. Now, are we supposed to believe that he didn't think the laptop was real? Let's not be chumps, right? So left, right, I'm not, I'm not getting into all that. I'm just saying our common sense. We can't, we can't believe the media anymore. We can't really believe our government officials anymore. They have played us for chumps, and it's time for us to push back. That's the only way we're going to get accountability back. One thing that's not being chumps is having a dog like this who can ride around with you in a golf cart. Highly recommend. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Doing good.